Hey everybody! So today, as you can see, I have a canvas in front of me. It is a 16 by 20 canvas, but I am actually going to be pouring on this glass jar that I found um, at the Goodwill. It has a really nice lid. It's got a seal in there and everything. So I thought that I would make a um, treat jar for my puppies. I've made um, bowls for them in the past and stuff, so I thought that would be, because it seals nice, that it would be good to put treats in. So, the colors that I'm going to be using today, I've got Quinacridone Bagenta, and I'm not sure which one that I put in there. It's either Liquitex Basics, or it's the Artist Loft um, Professionals uh, Level 3. It's either one of those. <laughs> um, I also have from Folk Art, it's the um, Pearl White. And also from Folk Art, I don't have the uh, bottle, is Tanzanite. It is, I'll show you, this really pretty um, purple. Very, very pretty purple. And then from Artist Loft, I have Cobalt Blue. All right, so I have this um, little container, plastic container on there. I'm gonna put the jar on, but it's really kind of heavy, so I ended up putting, you can see, <laughs> I put a couple little plastic um, containers. I think they're probably from guacamole or hummus or something. <laughs> little snack size under there for the uh, weight of it. All right, so I'm just gonna put that on here. Just like that, hopefully that works and doesn't fall off. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna put all my colors in the cup and and I'm just gonna do a pour, like a ring pour on the top and hopefully it'll kinda of all go down. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I moved the jar and then I took off the container that was in the middle and then I took my bottle of white pearl uh, paint and I went all around the outside and then I noticed that there's not a lot of magenta left so I put a little magenta in the middle and then some white pearl in the middle also. So now I'm going to start tilting. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for a bit and then I'll be back to show you. Okay guys, so here's the painting after about oh, half an hour or so. 
I'll take you in for a little closer look. This painting has a lot of movement. There's a lot of detail. Some of it I can't really get close enough for you guys to see, but it's actually really cool. There's some cells that just popped up. There's not a lot of cells. This area right here I think is my favorite. It looks really cool right through there. And then there's some cells that popped up in this corner here. But there's also some lacing. There's right there some more lacing. It's very, very cool. And the colors just blended really, really beautiful. And then had a little bit left over in the cups, so I just did this little guy here. Just a little 4x4. Four four. I did get some lacing in the purple, and then some cells popped up too. Alright. So here's the jar. It turned out really cool also. And of course I forgot to put it in on my spinny thing, so I'm trying to walk around as best I can to show you. The top looks pretty cool too. And there's that side. And it is still dripping so I'm going to let all these dry and then I will be back so you can see them. Alright stay tuned. Okay guys so here's everything all dry. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on the snack jar. Uh, you can see that I did a little zhuzhing to it. <laughs> um, the lid is silver, so I decided to use silver, um, a silver marker for the letters, and then I just used a black uh, paint marker freehand for the paw print. And I, uh, I'll go around it for you so you can see the other sides. I went ahead and sprayed it once, and then I added the letters and the paw print. Um, and then I added two more coats. I used Winsor & Newton Professional Gloss Varnish. And it looks really, really good. Super happy with it. And then here's the little one. It dried pretty much the same. Looks really good. Nothing changed. And same with the big one. It looks really, really good. There's just so much movement in this painting. And I just love the way the colors are, the detail. It, it's hard to pick up all the lacing. There's quite a bit. I just can't get close enough for you to see. But it looks pretty cool. I really like all three turned out really good. All right, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, check out my links in my description, and have a great day.